Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect. Please forgive the somewhat muted and reserved tones. I still have a very delicate throat at the moment after my cold, so it's just something I'm going to have to go ahead and push through with. In the previous episode, we got the workshop completed, and if I do say so myself, which I am going to say so myself, this is quite a nice looking workshop. Also, we finished off the office section over here, as well as retrofitted the infirmary, which I think does look quite nice. However, there is a little bit of problem with this, and I'll come to that in but a moment. In this episode we want to get the majority of the prison finished, if not all of it, because we've got this section over here to do, this room to do something with, and then finally um, alter um, or at least add something in here. So, first things first. Oh, and also uh, the kitchen may require some expansion as well, and the little odds and ends and all of that sort of thing. Anyway, before we crack on into most things, there is a problem around here. This is where we've got the psychologist's office block, where we've got a total of six in total if we require them. And the problem is if we go over to intelligence and then stolen, or dangers rather, we can see that there is a cell phone, booze, SIGs, light, fountain pen, pocket watch, all able to be stolen from these areas. Now that is a little bit of an issue, and when I say a little bit, I mean a fairly big issue, which means if we went over to, where would it be? It'll be in intelligence. Uh, once again, we can see that the luxuries, the supply has gone up dramatically. Also, narcotics is up as well, although to be fair, trade prices for booze are still sort of around that uh, mid to high level. What I'm tempted to do is knock it up to second faster speed and see if anyone comes in and starts to steal anything from these offices because I think that this will be a high source of contraband and in order to fix it, it's quite easy. We just remove the office designation. However, let's just see how we get on for the time being. In terms of money, we are doing quite well on 17,000. We are receiving a negative amount per day. However, that's not as bad as you think because that's not including our intake, which we are going to receive 15 minimum security prisoners shortly. And the reason we're receiving that many is because we have a lot of people going through parole. If we check over at our grading, we have a very good reoffending rate of only 4%. Punishment, reform, and security are very high. Health is not so much, but there's not. I don't think there's anything we can really do to knock that up. So just having a quick look around here, see if anyone does go in. By the way, today's beverage is... A nice soothing honey and lemon drink. And for whatever reason, Fletcher seems to be... Hmm. I'm guessing in... Ah, they're drunk. That's why. So we can see they're having a little bit of difficulty navigating. Obviously, they are testing the walls for structural integrity by holding alt onto them. I'm guessing that's why they're doing that. Hmm. Yeah. Pro possibly. Possibly. Don't say they're going to work. No, they're not. They're just bumping into the... <laughs> bumping into the walls. Um... Yeah, they've had an absolute mad one, haven't they? They've they've had a skinful. They are all over the place. They're banging around on the side of the walls. Oh, dearie me. Uh, search prisoner. Let's actually search cell as well. Let's see if we can uh, find anything there. Just going to knock it up a little bit faster, see if anyone's going in here. It's just a cursory glance. I'm looking around and see Thomas is walking past. They're going straight past. I mean, there is things that uh, people will be able to steal from here, as we've seen. Oh, there we go. They've actually got some drugs on them, so it was worth uh, searching John Fletcher there. So let's have a quick look at our programs here, and we can see that if we go down, we do have the Alcoholics Group Therapy, and that's uh, 35 finished with a, tw a 23 past, 65% fast pass rate. It's actually quite good for the Alcoholics Group Therapy, so I'm quite happy with that. Spiritual Guidance is still on the go. We would not benefit from running another one. We are not running any more parole hearings. The Psychiatric Consultation, we are running, although it does say six in the queue, but I don't think we need to run that, because as you can see, there's nobody going in there. Kitchen safety and hygiene, people are interested in in doing that. I wonder if that would help reform. Well, it would. The problem being that uh, we would have to... We would have to put in a metal detector. That's not a problem, though. Maybe we should probably do that. Hmm. Maybe we should problem. Hmm, that's that's a that's very committal of me, isn't it? Okay, what I'm going to do is go over to rooms and I'm going to remove the rooms from all of these offices just to reduce that contraband that could be possibly uh, stolen from there. Going to go over to our objects here. We're going to go to a metal detector and place it there of all places. Going to go over to our walls and doors and place a 
probably a door, a standard jail door would be fine and place it there. Followed by a bit of wall, a wall green classy down to about there. And the reason for that is we want the standard staff door. We want what we class as like the airlock door to uh, protect, if it kicks off, to protect this room. And then finally the metal detector if people are going to work in here. Now obviously this is staff only, so the prisoners shouldn't come through here. If they do, we've got uh, normally a lot of guards hanging around the bridges anyway, as you can clearly see. Uh, so we'll see how we get on with that one then. Hopefully having the people work in this kitchen will increase their reform and overall just allow them to go through parole better. And it's just generally a, a better thing. Obviously things can be stolen from there, mainly uh, the supply of uh, digging implements and tools. Let me just go over to intelligence and informants here. We can see that we have got some intake there. I'm not seeing any traits in the reception. However, it is an hour and a half after the original intake. We can see that we've got ex-law enforcement, ex-law enforcement, a couple of traits that we're unaware of, but nothing as far as I can tell of uh, great import. We do have 21 criminally insane prisoners. However, capacity is 24, so we may go for an intake uh, later on. Going back to what I was saying about the... Let me just lock open that jail door there. So lock open. Uh, go, yes, going back to what I was saying about the stolen tools that you can get from here. So digging implements really from the kitchen. One of the things that people have suggested we do is... Originally I was thinking of cloning, say, this whole section here. And then putting it down to here. Now this would allow for the cell block E. So more prisoners. And also just uh, fill up this space. However, a couple people have suggested that oh yep it's exactly where we expected it to be uh, i'll finish what i was saying so this area here was originally earmarked for potentially cell block e however it doesn't really fit in with the design and also i wasn't entirely sold on it and people have suggested many things and one of the things that kept cropping up was putting in a forestry now it is right at the start of the facility it doesn't seem to go but considering the way the rest of the prison looks with all of these bushes and trees and things like that and the fact that we have a fairly big workshop with a lot of saws I think that actually would be a prudent choice so that's what we're going to be building and probably be building in this episode uh, speaking of building and uh, demolishing let's demolish this guy and go for a free fire because quite frankly he's going to hit this guard once and kill him twice so let's just see what happens there so the firing is underway you can see that the canine has been taken out the guard dog cat dog as well as the guard there and it looks like we have now the armed guard that is going to get healed but putting them on to a free fire was worth it we can see that Felix has gone to unconscious and they obviously will be now treated if we didn't do that all that would happen is that it might seem like an overreaction to put it on a free fire but we've seen several times now what happens if you don't do that with Felix they just tend to pretty much instantly kill anyone that they punch because they do have extremely strong tough extremely volatile and extremely deadly so if they punch someone once then then they will very easily take them out and then in, in that case they would get a shotgun and they would cause more carnage than you know what we've uh, done there basically by putting on free fire anyway i digress so as you can see we have people in and around here we uh, for some reason they're storing the stuff over on the left hand side there i don't plan on extending the cookers and everything else over to the far left maybe a couple more and then we're going to put some tables in this corner actually i think i'm going to do that now let's go over to benches uh, sorry tables here uh, we'll use the uh, the big one, tables like that, and we're just going to line the uh, area like so, just so we can have, like say, a storage area for stuff, and then we'll go over to cooker, and we can place the cooker all the way to the end, which I think is a... Uh do I want to place it right to the end? No, maybe there, so they can get round. We'll place a sink down the bottom. We'll place a couple more fridges, just a couple more, I think. Um, that should be fine. That should be perfectly acceptable. And, oh, do we need some more, actually? To be fair, they are storing stuff over there rather than in the freezers. So maybe we'll place those in there, and that should work out quite nicely. And then what we want to do is just go over to our logistics, prison labour, assign all of the 25 prisoners maximum to this area. Obviously, it does say staff only, but we'll change that in but a moment. Just going to double check our deployment and that this is staff only, which it is. We're going to turn off that staff only so they now can go into the kitchen. And then finally, over to our reports and programs to go and find the kitchen safety and hygiene, which we will probably run a couple of those so kitchen safety and hygiene we're going to run uh we'll run four of them in total that should be acceptable so there we are so that means a lot of people working in there 
So they'll crack on with that, which is good. We can see that that is not yet powered up. However, once these are connected, it should all be perfectly fine. Let me just put it to max speed while they work on that. That is good. Uh, in terms of grants, we only have one more grant, which is cell block D, raise the prisoner capacity to uh, 200. We also have a carpentry apprenticeship as well, which is to produce 10 superior beds, and that's a problem. The doctor is calling. A prisoner has been seriously wounded in a workshop accident and can't be moved. Send a doctor quickly. So if we pause it, we can see around here that there are a lot of bits of popcorn getting chopped on the saws and ah there we are so prisoner Scott Langdon isn't that Ant-Man not Scott Lang uh, prison number 50839 uh, 893 sentenced to five years for car theft and I currently can't see the health status but the fact that there's a lot of cherry aid coming out the back is interesting. So let's get a doctor over there and see if we can heal them up quite fast. I've got the doctor running over and we are now healing them up. And yep, Depp going straight back to work like an absolute champ. And we should probably put a yellow cone there to denote a slipping hazard. Oh, to be fair, they are walking around them. Hmm, excellent. Right, that is now in. So, uh, we have this building here to contend with and finish off however I think we'll do we do that now I think we're best off touching that in a little while because I want to build this one first after we place a couple of extras in because there's been these um, bits where we haven't got uh, any flooring in and I've been wanting to do it for quite some time and we'll spread that out so let's go ahead and sort this so there's a lot of areas where we haven't got the uh, the proper grass in which I'm going to then start to build now I think we can get around to the majority of this we should be fine and a lot of it we'll have to place some uh, bushes in and around now where it's got things like here we won't be placing them as regimented as say let me cancel that section there uh, it won't be placing them as regimented as say here like this is sculpted this is all looked after by the gardener and uh, very nice whereas this one around here it's supposed to be more organic so less um i don't know less laid out as it were um also we should probably place some bushes around here because i didn't uh, end up doing that so let's just place a couple of bushes in uh that should be about right there we are and let's say around here, I'm probably going to place a couple of trees and a couple of bushes. That should be okay because it's not designated as forestry. It should uh, work out quite nicely. Although the problem with placing some of these trees is that often you will get bits where they'll um, overgrow. So we'll have to see how we get on there. So I'm just placing them in and around at a certain sort of random. I released a uh, sort of random spread as I can. Um, not really worrying about too big a... Uh, distribution and then we'll go over to the bushes there and then these as I said will be placed so I've just dotted around in um, random places it's just supposed to be like that so just sort of a bit different and it might not look fantastic but hopefully it'll be better than uh, what we have which is just uh, quite an open sort of arrangement there and then a couple more in here Obviously, a lot of them have trees around anyway, so we don't have to worry too much. And you might be thinking this is not money really well spent. And I would argue that, well, perhaps not. But to be fair, we have focused quite a bit on this facility to, be, you know, to have it uh, nice and um, well, just better looking than the previous ones. You know, you could argue that if you just want to go function over form, uh, you could just have it as the, the standard concrete. Standard concrete, walk speed fast, cheap. But also looks terrible. So there you go. Just like an SM Micra. So we need to probably build around here now. I and mean, this is going to be our forestry area. Um, we do still have this building and this building to perhaps change. Because this is our currently our cleaning cupboard. A lot of people suggested moving the cleaning cupboard to this building. And I do actually like the idea of that. However, what I'm tempted to do is build this and have this as a big cleaning cupboard have this as the morgue and then once again this building doesn't then have 
a purpose, which is what we're looking for. We're looking for a purpose for this building, but I don't know what it could be. I'm probably end up. I'm probably just going to end up having this as like a little gym or something. So we have like indoor, um, indoor weights, benches, and such. Although I wonder if there's anything else in our objects tab that we could use. So we've got outdoor tables. We got. Oh, signs and things like that. We haven't actually put these, like, infirmary signs on because things like the infirmary signs, like, for example, the zoom out, uh, where is it? Infirmary. We, you, you place them, uh, on this side. Well, we, you can't place them inside and all of our entrances for the majority of these are on the, uh, on the top. So you can't rotate them around, so, yeah. We're going to do a full shakedown tonight. I think that would be a decent thing to do. Uh, 731 places to search. In terms of guards, we have 24 regular guards. I'm going to increase that to 26. We've got one armed guard in total. I'm going to hire another uh, just so we have a spare one. And in terms of our dog handlers, we've got nine. I'm going to increase that over to the 12 there because we've had some losses in air quotes, which is a very... Uh, a very bland way of saying we've had some people die in the facility. So, yes. How crass. Anyway, we want to place something, as I said, in this room. Tire stack are basically like walls, but we can probably... It does say tire stack acts as a small wall which prisoners and staff walk around. Okay, well, I didn't expect them walking through it, so there you go. Although anything can happen in Prison Architect. Um... I guess that would work. We've also got wall lights, which, again, we don't really have any purpose for. We could make this a toilet, but then again, I don't know if it would be a worthy thing to do. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, there's nothing really that's uh, making me think, yes, we definitely need to put that in there. There's a dog ball. Oh, dog ball. Holds water and food for tired dogs. Increases the dog's stamina by a small amount. Excellent. Um. Right. Let's get them put in then. Like so. Hang on. Cancel. There we go. Excellent. And then the dog crates. Uh, is that the right way? Let's see if that's the right way. So we found a tunnel on the left hand side this time. Normally it's a this cell box that's the offender, so glad we've got that sorted. Oh, I like the dog balls. Uh, yes, they're the right orientation, so we'll rotate those around, put them in there. So there's the dog balls in there, that's excellent. Uh, what else have we got? A flipboard, um, which proved the. Ah, flipboard. Increase the psychiatrist uh, officers, improve the psychiatrist treatment for criminally insane inmates. So, that's actually very good to have. So, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to dismantle all of these sofa wides. I'm going to dismantle all of these leather sofas, because by all accounts, they, well, being informed that they do increase the speed in which people heal and receive treatment in here. Improve the psychiatric treatment for criminal inmates. Yes, it does clearly state that. So we'll put one in there, 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 and there. The reason for putting them in that corner is because then we can have the flipboard in like so, and we can actually see what it looks like. Yes, and they're now legitimate. That's fine. Excellent. Looks like Prisoner Raw is having a bit of a difficult time of it. Um... Oh, hang on. So, are they insomniac? No, it can't be. Uh, it does say sleeping. Christopher Rowe, sleeping. Status is calm, but they are punching. So they're not calm, and they don't have any traits. That would be like a sleepwalker or anything like that. Not that that would be classed as criminally insane behaviour, I don't think. But I know there are certain traits in the game. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, we will crack on with that. Uh, for this room, once again, as I said, I don't think there's really any great need in uh, placing something in there. I don't know what else we could have. I 
don't know what else we could have. Um, because as I said, I'm, I was t interested in changing this to a cleaning cupboard, this area here, and then expanding the laundry a little bit, and then having a morgue here. Uh, but then yeah, this this really doesn't have a purpose. Anyway, uh, we will focus on the area around here first. This is going to be our um. This is going to be our forestry area. So we're going to place probably an entrance there. We're not going to place a, an entrance anywhere else. One entrance is fine. And the reason for that is we want to have metal detectors in here. Because forestry... I can't find the metal detectors. Forestry has the problem that it spawns digging tools. So there is early prisoner release, which is quite good. I'm going to go over to our flooring here, concrete tiles. Put some concrete tiles in like so. What we're going to do is have concrete tiles running up and then a double a double walkway around. Uh, no, maybe a single. Single. Like so. And I've left a gap of one all the way around the outside, just because I want to have that as grass. Again, trying to just make this prison a little bit greener. And I wonder if there's anything we can place there. I mean, a good strim would uh, certainly be <laughs> uh, of some benefit. Let's have a look. What else have we got? Guard towers, gravestones, phone taps... Big stack of tires. Yeah, that's that's not really the the look we're going for, to be honest. I also got door mats as well. Might go, might look good in front of doorways, maybe. Um, there's no like fountain, is there? There's windows, classy. No fountains. Could have like a little bench area, perhaps. No, it doesn't seem to fit. Just have a couple of trees in, I think. Um, and then... Place some bushes around here. There we go. Right, so this is going to be forestry. And, like usual, we're going to designate it with a gap of one around from everything. Because where it, where it plants, uh, if it's right near this edge, it will start removing things. So, I don't want to do that. Nor do I want to spend any money on placing um, any... That's lucky. <laughs> they're powered up and they're outside. Uh, yeah, I don't want to spend any money on placing any... Uh, any ground around there, any grass, because it's just going to get removed. Uh, go over to utilities and we can see, yes, <laughs> it's um, a coincidence that we just happened to run that electrical cable right down the centre. Actually, it's not coincidence, because we normally run them along the pathways and in places where we uh, can realistically have them follow. So, yeah, it's just uh, pretty good, that one. Let's go over to our connections here and then connect up the door control system because we are putting a door servo on this forestry area. Um, I don't... Can I, do you have to assign people to it? My mind fails me. Um, no, you don't. And there's another death. So, we can see that, yes, it's Felix once again and it is the, the guard dog. Where is the dog handler? Over there. So we're going to go to Free Fire once again. And there you go. As soon as that person gets hit, they're taken. However, they've taken the keys at this stage, which is interesting. Let's go to Guard Response 1, 2, 3. And we'll get as many people there as possible. So they've taken the keys. They're not interested at this stage in um, having in having any sort of fight. They're, they're interested in running away. 
uh, and trying to escape, but uh, yes, it doesn't work out very well for them at all. So I'm going to go over to Staff and Armed Guard, hire another Armed Guard. Actually, I'm going to hire another Armed Guard and then follow what someone did suggest a couple of episodes ago, which is we go to our deployment, patrols, and then armed patrols. And instead of having one armed patrol in there, we have two armed patrols in here. So one and then two. I think that is the way forward, because if one person gets taken out, there's always another armed guard there. It's uh, strange just how annoying one one legendary prisoner can be and remember now from the let's patch you can get prisoner transfer which is 15 grand each prisoner and it just says well it doesn't actually say anything take categories high risk prisoners are too dangerous for the prison to be offered from the time. Be warned, there's a reason they pay highly. The hardened criminals that have no, uh, no of the facility wants to take. So I think that is legendary or very close to legendary prisoners. Right, okay, so we have the forestry done. We have the f uh, ground placed around here. Let's just continue on with placing some of the rest of the uh, buildings here. So we're going to go over to flooring and then to the white tiles we're going to place them around there we're going to go over to carpet brown and then place the brown carpet around here uh, this will become a security room it was always meant to be a security room we just never uh, went ahead and placed it obviously us placing at this stage does really mean that yes it is fairly useless there's no reason to be building this at this stage we certainly don't need it however it's going to be placed in just for the sake of completion so we'll place all the stuff in there. It does mean that someone will stand around here. So there is some purpose. It does mean that uh, security is higher. But we obviously don't need it. If we needed it, we would have built it um, a lot uh, faster than we have. That's now in there. In terms of security and the staff room. Staff room is going to have a nice brown carpet. For the armory, I do like some metal flooring. We've got grates as well. Now, the grate does look a bit better. So I'm going to use the grate there let's run across like so that is fine we have got the kennel to do and i think a mosaic floor perhaps perhaps is the way forward on that one and that should be most of the flooring in there let's go over to our visitation as well and go to objects and then scrolling right in, I'm not seeing... There we go, the visitor tables. Visitor tables we can now place in. So one, two, three, four. Obviously, this is fairly oversized, but it is at least going to be completed, which we have done now. Checking the deployment there and the patrols. We do have a patrol. It is set to... It is set to the schedule one. Which is interesting because nobody's there. Is there any free guards? There are free guards, so I'm not too sure why they're not there. Um, so that's fine. We can see forestry is now working. We have the gardeners planting all of these nice trees, which is excellent. So it's just now a case of checking around. All the flooring seems to be there. A bit there and a bit there. And that's about it. So I think we'll leave it there. Um, a bit of a short one, but as I said, I'm uh, still not 100%, so apologies for that. Next episode will be our last episode. We will finish off uh, and build this building here, this one around here, move things around as they need to be. We also need to place a walkway around here, which will probably be a bit of walkway followed by some grass and then maybe even think about perimeter wall which we should have done probably about 20 episodes ago either way i hope you have enjoyed the video on the series thus far comments in the comments thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings